So, do you have an audition coming up? Are you a little nervous? Or maybe you don't know what songs to pick? In today's video, I'm going to share with you two mindsets that will help you to make the best of your auditions. Also, stick around to the end of the video where I'll share a story with you of an audition I had and failed and what I learned from it. Over the course of my career, I've been auditioned many times and I also auditioned other people many times. And I always see people make the same mistakes. The most common question I get asked is, what song should I pick for my audition? Should I do an up-tempo song? Should I do a ballad? Should I do an original? Should I do a cover? This is a very revealing question. It shows that the person doesn't understand what their job is in the audition process. So here's the first mindset you want to have that will help you make the most of your auditions. Number one, when you go to an audition, it's not your job to fit the criteria they're looking for. I repeat, when you go to an audition, it's not your job to fit the criteria they're looking for. Your job is to be your absolute best self. Your job is to show up and shine. And this is what you should keep in mind when you pick the songs you want to do. Don't pick a slow song or a fast song or an original song or a cover. Pick the song that makes you shine the brightest. Pick the song that showcases you at the peak of your abilities. If it's a song you shine singing or playing, do that song. Now, of course, if it's an audition for a pop band, don't come in singing a classical song. But other than that, the songs you should pick for your audition should simply be vessels for you to perform at your peak. What they're looking for is not the right song. What they're looking for is the right person. Keep that in mind. Which leads me to principle number two. You are not the right fit for everything. Nobody is. People are looking for what they're looking for. You fit where you fit, and you don't fit where you don't fit. Some people will absolutely love you when they hear you play or sing and hire you. Other people will absolutely love you when they hear you play or sing and not hire you because you're not what they're looking for. Other people still will hear you sing or play and simply not like what you sound like, and that's okay. And of course, as a matter of regular practice, you always want to stay at the peak of your abilities and have a great practice routine for yourself to make sure you're always in your best shape. Which is why I made a whole video about how to assemble a great practice routine for yourself and make sure you stay in your top shape. To check out the video, click on the annotation right there. And now to the story of my own failed audition. <laughs> when I first moved to Los Angeles many years ago, I started going to pop auditions so I could get a gig and make some money and earn a living. The very first audition I had in LA was for a very famous pop rock singer. And let's just say that the music was pretty easy and I was pretty sure I was gonna get the audition. I learned the songs, I practiced really hard, I showed up and what I saw at the audition site, I will never forget. It will always be a lesson to me. When I showed up at the audition, I realized, wait a minute, we're auditioning for a rock act. Look at all these guys auditioning on keyboards here with me with their awesome t-shirts and chains and tattoos. It is then that I realized that there is no chance I'm gonna get this audition, no matter how good I play. And of course I didn't. I'm sure there were at least six of us they could have picked and been happy with, musically speaking. But who did they pick? Of course they picked someone who could play the gig well. But if they had five, six, or seven such people on offer, which one are they gonna go with? Well, they obviously went with the one who fits the image of the gig. They were looking for someone to play simple triads and to look the part. That's another big thing. Sometimes looking the part is what gets you the audition and sometimes not looking the part is the deal breaker. Sometimes not sounding the part is the deal breaker. Maybe you're an amazing player or singer, but your sound doesn't fit what they're looking for. Your job is to show up 
and shine. And then, if that's what they're looking for, you're gonna get your gig. And if it's not, you won't. And so, in summary, your job is to show up and be your best self. Pick the songs that make you shine. Rejection isn't personal. People are looking for what they're looking for. You fit where you fit, and you don't fit where you don't fit. That is just the way it is. Well, now it's your turn. What experiences have you had with auditions? Are you usually nervous? Are you usually attached to the end result? Or are you kind of cool about it? I know I've been nervous many times in the past. Have you auditioned a lot? What have you learned? Share your experiences with me in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I make a lot more videos like this one about music, performance, and creativity, as well as vlogs and tutorials and all things music related. If you're already a subscriber, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Peace. Also, stick around to the end of the video. This is unbelievable.